The revolutionary development program is a key part of the nation-building process, and the U.S. Army is providing support for this Republic of Vietnam program in three major ways. First, military operations contribute to the security necessary for the revolutionary development program to begin. As military forces establish the requisite level of security in an area, governmental authority can then be introduced in the form of revolutionary development worker teams, recruited from the area and specially trained. These workers help establish the local governmental administration and initiate simple social and economic projects to help win the support of the people. Revolutionary development worker strength is increasing rapidly. The second major way in which the Army supports revolutionary development is to provide advisors to the Republic of Vietnam military and civilian organizations. As Vietnamese regular forces are increasingly committed to the nation-building role, their U.S. Army advisors are likewise engaged. Army province and district advisory teams advise their counterparts, the province and district chiefs, on all aspects of military security, revolutionary development, and governmental activities. The district senior advisors in remote districts of South Vietnam have a particularly challenging and rewarding task. The third major way in which the Army assists in revolutionary development is through social and economic improvement programs. With the increase in U.S. units, there has been a step up in the number and scope of activities performed by U.S. forces. In addition to combat operations, U.S. units engage in a wide variety of civic activities ranging from simple acts of kindness to the distribution of food and clothing. To relatively ambitious construction projects. U.S. Army civil affairs companies assist in such fields as agriculture public health, education and welfare, and refugee assistance. U.S. military surgical teams provide medical services up to major surgery. Engineer construction advisory detachments assist in such tasks as improvement of water supply systems, sewer construction, and general rural improvement. A facet of the support being provided for the civilian population is the redistribution of captured items to district officials for release to the local populace. Thousands of pounds of rice and salt were distributed, as well as large quantities of food, clothing, and medical supplies. 